has particular much for the actions of Kansas voters last night mean possible headwinds for Indiana lawmakers abortion ban. News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist joining us now live from the state house to tell us how lawmakers there are receiving the news. Garrett. Well, Republican lawmakers here appear to still be processing the result of the Kansas uh, abortion ballot measure. Meanwhile, Democrats say they hope Republicans take it as a sign that it's time to back off. Indiana's proposed abortion ban already doesn't even have the support of all of the legislature's Republicans. Here's what one said at the end of Tuesday's House committee hearing on the bill. I believe everything I have read, everything I study, though, the majority of Hoosiers do not want a ban on abortion. We've seen the numbers. I've talked to my constituents. I believe that the, um, this decision is between the woman and her doctor. Events elsewhere suggest a possible backlash against efforts to further restrict abortion access. On Tuesday, Voters in Kansas, long one of the most conservative states in the country, overwhelmingly rejected a ballot measure to declare that state's constitution does not protect abortion access. Republican State Representative Sharon Nagel voted in favor of Indiana's bill at Tuesday's hearing. I asked her if the Kansas vote will affect negotiations here. We'll see. You know, this is complicated, and this is a very polarizing subject matter. Um, what we passed out of the Courts and Criminal Code certainly is a not the final bill. We have a lot of discussion within our caucus uh, going forward. I think it's important for us to take into consideration what did happen in Kansas. Absolutely. Democrats like State Senator Fadi Kadura say the Kansas vote is a sign Republicans are going too far. They want to maintain constitutional rights for reproductive care in their state. And I think Indiana should follow suit. Um, we should protect uh, Hoosier woman. And we expect the House will go in at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning to discuss amendments to the bill. House members tell me they expect a very long debate. Live at the State House, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.